Now, what about finding the actual significance level? What's that about? Well, in the previous question, we stated we wanted a total of a 10% significance level. This is exactly the same table as we've just used, and these are the values we used. And I wrote it down before. We had a 4.44% chance of being in the critical region for this top bit. For this bottom area, we had, we look up 94.68% of the table. That means there was a 1 minus the 94.68% chance of rejection in the bottom part. That's 5.32%. So for the top bit, we do 1 minus to get the, um, the probability of being in the critical region. So we had 5.32%. To find the actual significance level, we add those probabilities together and we get 9.76% if we add those two together. Okay, That is our actual significance level. We just said as near as possible to 5% in each tail um, for the probability of rejection. Now we couldn't obviously get exactly 5%. So the real significance level wasn't 10%, it was actually 9.76%. Pretty close, but it's important to, to know the actual significance level that you have. It often gets asked in exam questions.